I'm not going to hold the speech now. I, I just want to recite the poet words in Persian first, and then in English, and then I'm going to say a few words. Uh, I ask uh, Professor Kelly uh, to come here and to recite the poet poem himself, which would, would be really unique. And I would like to invite you again <laughs> to come and to recite the poem, if you would like to do that. We just talked about this, and uh, he said, I never recite my own poems. So I am just in your presence. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> سفر به خیر به کجا شد این شتابان یون از نسیم پرسی دل من گرفته زینجا حوث سفر نداری ز قبار این بیابان همه آرزویم اما چه کنم که بست پایم به کجا شد این شتابان به هران کجا که باشد به جد این سرا سرا آیم سفرت به خیر اما تو و دوستی خدا را چو از این کبیر وحشت به سلامتی گذشتی به شکوفه ها به باران برسان سلام ما را Where are you going in such a hurry? The desert tour asked the wind. My heart is torment here. Don't you want to get away from this dusty desert? It's all I long for. But what can I do with my feet tied like this? Where are you going in such a hurry? Wherever it may, wherever it may be, except here. There I am. Travel safely then, but my friend, I beg you, when you, have, when you have passed safely from this brutal wasteland and rich blossoms in the rain, greet them for me. I just continue in English uh, because we have a few English uh, guests here. Um, uh, I was talking to Professor Kent Kenny just a minute ago and he mentioned very rightly that this poem it might look a long poem but has become a, a kind of proverb in Persian. It has been used uh, in various contexts uh, from music, uh, music, musical context, musical domain to uh, domain of politics, to uh, artistic, and many other uh, domains. Um, uh, one of the, uh, this poem has been set into music more than 30 times, this is just told me. Uh, another aspect of it is that the poem, the poem is used not only for artistic reasons, for um, uh, celebrations, but also in political context. Uh, one, for instance, one example is that what he told me yesterday, that the people who were killed, uh, um, uh, uh, who were executed because of their uh, political convictions, they recited this poem before their death, which is really very moving. It can be uh, uh, interpreted again in a very different uh, uh, way. What I would like to, I, I don't want to interpret the poem uh, for you, uh, but I just want to say something about the history of uh, putting this poem, or a Persian poem, on the, uh, on the wall in Leiden. It started all actually in uh, the 1980s. In the 1980s, um, uh, the, the uh, city of Leiden decided to put a poem, a Persian poem, in, uh, in the city, but nothing happened. Yeah, that, I come to that uh, in a minute. And that, <laughs> that was 1980s. And uh, uh, they approached my uh, teacher and tutor, Hans Sagar, who is not here, unfortunately, because of illness. Um, uh, and he did his best, but uh, there was silence, so no reaction came to him. 
uh, and in 1992, <laughs> uh, uh, then we had a, a different start uh, for the poems in Leiden uh, in general. Um, uh, and there are many poems, I don't know how many, but uh, about 100, more than 100. Uh, this is not the number 111. So uh, a huge number of poems were put on the wall in Leiden. Uh, and this is, uh, again, this is a new great poem. Uh, I'm really, very really happy that we could, we could do that. The history of it uh, goes back to two years ago that we came together several times, and I'm not the only one because I, I would like to invite Heidi and Helene and Ben. Helene, would you please come? Ben is not here. And we came together many times, uh, and uh, all the time, the first year, we discussed about the poem. Uh, we had a huge number of poems, uh, and the selection was very difficult, because uh, uh, we had to abide by a number of criteria. Uh, one of them was, it shouldn't be really religious and political, uh, it should be as, uh, you know, as literal as possible. So the decision was easily to make because this poem, as I said, it can be interpreted in different uh, ways. Uh, we selected the poem and we were very happy. We actually celebrated the moment that we could select the poem. And I would like to thank uh, Professor Katkani to be here and to uh, celebrate this historic moment. Thank you very much. What we are going to do, we are going to have um, uh, to tell us this moment. Uh, at, yeah. First, we are going to have um, uh, the signature of the poet, uh, Professor Katkani, here. It's also very unique. I don't know whether any poets. First one. This is the first one. So this is the historic